One thing I often hear from folks who watch my videos is some confusion on how certain mods work and what to pair with them. Builds go a long way in educating people, but with so many mods, it can be difficult to go into specifics on a mod outside of a short discussion within a build, which obviously doesn't give you a ton of context. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the mod elemental shards and go over how to get it, what the mod does, and what it pairs with so that you can create your own powerful builds and enhance builds I put out already on YouTube. So first off, let's go over how you get it. Elemental Shards is a mod from Season Lost, and along with the other Elemental Well mods, you get that from the Seasonal Quest item that is found in the Awoken area in the Helm. To get this mod, you will need a Reputation Level 15, which requires you doing most of the Seasonal Challenges along the top row for Seasonal Lost. Most of these require finishing portions of the Seasonal Quest, as well as other challenges. Once complete, you will need to wait for this mod to come up in the weekly rotation. What this mod does is, is pretty simple, but it's extremely powerful. And if you don't have it already, get it. It's something that's allowed many of the builds I've put out this season to actually go to the next level. Normally, to enable a stasis-based elemental well build, you need a lot of mods to create well. The problem is you only get five elemental well spots to use on your armor, and frequently only four of those since you're maxing out your class item with whatever the best mods are from the seasonal artifact. With this mod, instead of having to get wells from grenades or weapon kills or melee strikes, you get well activation just by picking up shards. So if you want to proc Font of Wisdom and power up your super faster, you can do that with just a shard. If you want additional weapon damage with Font of Might, you can also do that with shard. I also like to utilize Elemental Time Dilation as it allows me to double stack some of these, especially now that I have some freed up spots with not having to put Elemental Well Creation mods on all the time. Now, one of the reasons for the ease of use of this is because shards are super easy to get in PvE play. Each class has an aspect that allows you to get shards quickly. And again, most of these shards are created by either freezing targets or breaking crystals. Depending on how you do this, a single target can get anywhere from one to three shards fairly quickly. And again, if you're in an area that has a lot of ads, you can see where you basically would have shards all over the battlefield. Once you have these shards, there are numerous fragments you can use in addition to your elemental well abilities. So basically, when you get a shard, you can be proccing abilities from your mods, but you can also be using fragments to do lots of really cool stuff. So for instance, Whisper of Chains allows you to get damage protection up to 25% by being near a shard. This is also near frozen enemies, but just think about that. There are shards literally everywhere if you're doing any of your builds correctly. So this will really help out in protecting yourself and keeping you in the fight. There's Whisper of Rhyme. You gain a portion of your overshield back for each shard you pick up, and that varies with each class maxing out with a hunter. With a hunter, you can gain a full 100 point extra overshield with seven shards, which is pretty easy to do if you're dodging and creating shards. In addition to this, if you aren't at full strength, you actually heal up to 100%, which will then after that start building up an overshield. So if you're less, if you're actually damaged, it'll actually give you instant healing. This is really overpowered in endgame PvE content and can allow you the flexibility to take some risks while GMs are coming out of cover. With Whisper of Hunger, you gain melee energy back every time you pick up a shard. If you're playing a melee-based build, to say, for instance, take advantage of Resonant Siphon, this can really help out get this melee charges. So what you can see from this is you can get your elemental well abilities back, right? But at the same time, you can get multiple fragments proccing at the same time, which can help you survive longer in endgame content. So finally, this mod really allows you to utilize already strong shard-based abilities in stasis and add to it automatic well abilities in one mod. If you don't have this, get it today before the end of the season as we don't know how you'll be able to get these once Witch Queen rolls out. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hop on my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.